You know it, you love it, and odds are you've been getting it out of a jar. It's spaghetti and meat sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and get this going to low. And the first ingredient, naturally, will be the bacon. Remember, we've got six ounces here cut into uh, strips. I'm gonna render that out nice and slow. Meanwhile, finally chop two whole onions and three stalks of celery. Then mince three cloves of garlic and then slice two more. Last but not least, one star anise pod and three whole cloves go into a, uh, a small cotton spice bag. You can find these on the internet. And then just smack the bejeebers out of it. When the bacon is done, get it out and drain it on some paper towels. So we have the nice hot fat. The onion will go into that along with Let's say a teaspoon and a half of salt. You can just eyeball that. And half a teaspoon of black pepper. Oh, and of course, our spice bag. Now that goes in low heat till the uh, onions break down and uh, caramelize. It's going to take 45 minutes to an hour. You're going to have to stir every few minutes uh, to keep uh, you know, burning at, uh, at bay. In the meantime, into the pan. If it doesn't sizzle right away, then odds are good you do not have enough heat. And want to keep this moving for at least four to five minutes. Otherwise, you might have liquid puddle up, and that would give us stewing, not the searing we desire. All right, the meat is good and brown, so move that to a colander, set over a bowl, and let it drain until we are ready uh, to implement it further. Now the pan goes right back on the heat. Now if we've done our job properly, there'll be uh, plenty of nice little brown bits there stuck to the bottom of the pan. That is flavor we don't want to waste. So we deglaze with one half cup of white wine. All right, as you can see by looking uh, down into our Dutch oven, the onions uh, greatly reduced, but they're nice and mahogany brown. So it's time to bring on the second wave of aromatics, the celery. Remember, uh, three stalks, finely chopped, and garlic. Three of our total of five cloves minced. They go right in. And just continue cooking over the low heat for 30 minutes or until you can smell garlic and celery all the way out in the yard. This would, by the way, be a nice time to crank up some porcini, you know, just for atmosphere. Excellent. Okay, the fat soluble flavors from the spices have been extracted. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the, uh, the little sack. Next, the meat goes into the Dutch oven and the reduced wine with all the uh, juicy little bits, that goes in too. Now we're still maintaining this um, over low heat, okay? Now we're gonna add another half cup of the wine and three quarters of a cup of canned evaporated milk. Not, I repeat, not sweetened condensed milk, okay? Evaporated milk is really just milk that's uh, been cooked and canned and I like it because it has considerable flavor and body and it won't curdle when it meets up with the uh, acid in the wine, and that's critical. Also, I'm gonna add three cups of beef broth, and this could be a canned or cartoned. There. Perfect. So, one tablespoon of olive oil goes over medium heat, along with some more garlic. Two cloves this time, sliced, and just keep that moving around until it's fragrant. 30 to 45 seconds, tops. There. Now add two 28 ounce cans of tomatoes, diced, not crushed. There, along with one tablespoon of dried oregano and two teaspoons each of dried marjoram and dried basil. There, just stir that in and let this cook um, until most of the liquid has evaporated, 25 to 30 minutes. All right, decrease the heat to low and stir in two tablespoons of tomato paste and one tablespoon of sherry vinegar, which is just as sweet as balsamic, just not as, well, grotesquely overused. <laughs> I also like to uh, give this about a teaspoon shot of Worcestershire sauce, a personal favorite of mine, and another quarter cup of white wine to help bring out the uh, alcohol-soluble flavors in the tomatoes. And then I add uh, one tablespoon of a secret ingredient. I'm not gonna show you. No, no, get away, I'm not gonna show you. All right, it's ketchup. There's just no replacing it, I'm afraid. All right, let this simmer nice and low for 30 minutes. 